Today's podcast is presented by Musicbed and Bridengroom.video. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the How to Film Weddings podcast. My name is Nick Miller. I am flying solo today. It has been a whirlwind of a week and I am really, really excited to get back into this chair and record some podcasting stuff. Over the past uh, few days this week, I was in Oregon at uh, Rome Academy Rome Retreat put on by Films by Stanton, uh, his uh, education program of Rome. Uh, They have an in-person retreat and uh, I had the opportunity to go there and speak at it and be present with uh, 70 or so wedding filmmakers. We did some incredible shoots on a beach. Uh, We did some stuff on a mountain cliffside which scared the tar out of me. Uh, We even did a little beach uh, story session where uh, a couple got uh, surfboards out and were surfing and and then there was a fire pit. And Anyway, it was all sorts of really cool stuff. But more importantly than the cool shoots that we did, I was able to connect with so many uh, people I hadn't met before, but also reconnect with people that I had uh, been able to connect with, meet, that I know. I I don't know what I'm saying there. Anyway, um, it it was just an incredible week, and I am so uh, blessed is the best word that I can come up with. I am so encouraged. I am so uh, refreshed uh, from being there. One, not only was I, am I filled up from from a creative business standpoint, but also on a personal standpoint. Uh, I, I've been talking to my wife over the last few days after I got home, and you know we're just excited to uh, shake some things up when it comes to our life and how, how much time we're spending on screens and how to change that and maybe some plans for the future on you know going out and living in a remote place for a month or something like that. I don't know if those things will happen, but those are things that we're talking about. I've also been um, really thinking about putting together this little uh, documentary uh, that I'm I, I'm speaking it out there because I really want to do it and I'm the type of person that often has some good ideas or ideas that I like but then I don't speak it and so I have a tough time uh, getting it done and so I say mini documentary um, not like a big production or anything like that but some personal things that I want to do in my life and then film it and talk about it and reflect on it and so I am just really inspired and encouraged and so uh, bo- as I'm just getting started into to today's podcast, I really want to encourage you to find a community of filmmakers uh, if if that is what you need and that is what you desired. We at How to Film Weddings, we love that you are listening to this and are a part of that, but if it's not us, go somewhere else. Uh, be a part of Stanton's group. Uh, go and be a part of Runaway Vows or the Wedding Videographers or some other place that has a community that you can connect with other filmmakers. Uh, it is very, very valuable and very, very important. Before I get into the topic of today's podcast, I want to let you know that we are giving away a Mini 4, a DJI Mini 4 Pro Fly More Combo with the RC controller. Anyway, it's an incredible little drone and we are giving one away. It's like a $1,200 value uh, and all we are asking in return is that you fill out a little survey and that you can fill that out at howtofilmweddings.com slash survey. Uh, we just, we, we know that 2024 into 2025 seems to be rough uh, for wedding filmmakers and we want to help the best that we can. And so the best way we can do that is for a survey. And what's a good way to get you to fill out the survey is well to bribe you. So head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash survey. You can fill that out and then we will take that information and we will uh, hopefully, no, not hopefully, we are going to be putting together content for the future, educational content that is really going to help you where it is that you need it. Okay. Um, I know John last week in the podcast talked a lot about how 2025 just seems to be rough for a lot of filmmakers and rough for a lot of people. And in in Rome, you know, I had some conversations with people that, you know, bookings are down and things are hard and things are tough. And I I know that, uh, you know, everywhere you look, there's going to be lots of different reasons for it, right? Uh, You know, John talked about maybe it's political stuff, it's economy stuff, it's, you know, just over the last few years with inflation and rising prices. I know there are so many factors and there are so many things to consider whenever it comes to why things are the way that they are. And And I wanted to have a conversation today and ask you or just present the time or, you know, just open this door a little bit. Is it time to quit? 
is it time to step away from wedding videography? And I, I don't I don't know uh, where you are in your business, but I know that you might have had those thoughts and you're like, man, I don't know if that's the right answer for me. And I don't know if it is for you either, but I just want to give you some space to think about that and to consider that for a little bit. So uh, in the year of, what was that? 2016 into 2017, uh, I worked, I was a youth pastor. I was working for a church and um, some leadership stuff had changed. Some things were changing. Some things were different. Uh, church was going in a different direction, not a bad direction, not one that I didn't necessarily agree with or anything like that, but it was just one that was uh, different. And I felt like I was walking on eggshells. Like I felt like there was so I, I didn't belong or I didn't fit in or everything I did that everyone was really scrutinizing me and, and, and that kind of feeling with it. And I had been sitting with this for a few months and there was a guy that came in to work for the church. And he was one of those guys that whenever he asks you a question, you want to be truthful with the answer, you know? And he said to me, Hey, Nick, how you doing? And I was like, I'm good. And I walked away and then I came back and I go, I, I am not good. I am not good. And I um, proceeded to tell him how I was feeling about working. And then also this other job that I had on the side and how I was getting really passionate about that and how things were moving and things were going. And his response to me was, whenever you feel like you're walking on eggshells or you feel like something's off, maybe it is your body, maybe it is uh, God, maybe it's the universe, whatever you believe in, maybe it is saying it's time to walk away. It's time to step away. And so I am just opening that conversation a little bit because I think that just how things have been going for the last couple of years where 2022, 21 and 22 were booming for our industry. Everyone was uh, booking and making lots of money and raising their prices. And then in 23 and 24 and into 25, there just aren't as many weddings happening. Uh, people are more money conscious. There it just isn't as much money. And there's just a lot of things that are can be difficult in our world. And I, I, I know that it could be a pride thing. It could be a, man, I just, I, I had this all figured out and I was really excited to do this. And now I just feel like a loser. I feel like a failure. I feel like whatever. And, uh, but would you have more enjoyment if you walked away? If you walked away, I know that I loved being a youth minister. I loved that job and I was excited about it, but eventually passions crossed. And now that I've walked away from it, uh, most of the stuff that I did at that job, I'm, I'm okay not doing anymore. And I feel better and I feel more at peace and more at place in what I am doing right now. So uh, let's, let's kind of break this down a little bit uh, as, as I'm kind of focusing on, is it time to quit? Is it time to walk away? Is it time to step away? And just some things to consider. The first big one is, do you get enjoyment out of this profession? Is, is, there, is this something that you like to do? Um, are you passionate about it? Are you good at it? Um, do you wake up and just want to continue to do more? If you say, yes, I am passionate about this, or yes, I love filming weddings, or yes, I do this, or yes, you know, then you're probably still in a good spot with this. But if most of those are like, no, I don't love this. No, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to leave the house or, you know, do these things. If you're not getting enjoyment from it, that could be a big, big sign. And yes, I understand that, oh, I have this profession and there is money in it and I am making money and I am good at it. Okay, like maybe you can pivot or figure something out from it. But if you're, if, if you're not getting enjoyment out of doing this stuff, maybe that is a sign for you to say, mm, I'm, maybe this isn't for me. And again, these aren't things that I know that uh, anyone else can answer but you. You need to be very introspective uh, with yourself. I know that I am not the most self-aware when it comes to myself. Uh, I think I'm awesome when I'm not, and I think I'm terrible when I'm not, and I, I have a really bad job of being honest with myself and being self-aware with myself. And so maybe you just need to sit down in a quiet space and examine and think, am I getting enjoyment out of this? Is, is this something that I actually really, really do enjoy? Or is this something that I don't enjoy? And if you don't enjoy it, uh, 
look into that and focus in on those things. Okay, maybe you're like, you love shooting, you love building your relationships, but this editing thing is just so, so beyond you and you are so over it and it is so time consuming, or maybe there's something else. Well, take that off your plate, okay, if you can right? Uh, partner with one of our partners like bridegroom.video, outsource those edits and get some time back or something like that. Or maybe there's another aspect of the business. Maybe you only like editing and you don't like shooting anymore. Where can you pivot? Where can you change? Where are you getting enjoyment out of this? And have an honest look at yourself. And maybe you're like, I don't, I don't really enjoy any of this. I did this, uh, started five years ago to make some extra money and now it's turned into a full-time job. And what was once a passion has now turned into a job, which was once was fun has now become overbearing and it's time to go. And that is okay. I am giving you permission to have those thoughts and not that you need my per- permission to do it, but maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes, um, having other people give you permission that you don't need is exactly what you need to move on and take a few steps forward. The next thing I want for you to kind of think about is how are the relationships that you have in within the industry? Do you have positive relationships? Do you have negative relationships? Do you have any relationships? Uh, you know, that was one of the things time and time again uh, this past week as I was at uh, Rome uh, with Films by Stanton's uh, retreat. And so many people were talking about this industry can be so, so lonely. And whenever you are by yourself and you are not with people and you are self-employed and there's uh, those things and other people just don't understand what that looks like and under- understand what that is, maybe maybe you need to find those somewhere else. And again, we, we want you to become involved in the How to Film Weddings community or the Rome community or any other online community that there is when it comes to wedding videographers. Find your people, find your space. But maybe you've tried and you've tried to do it online or you don't have the means to go to uh, meet up with other people and there really aren't many people local for you. Like if you're not able to connect with many people uh, very regularly, that can be a huge, huge downside. And that can be a huge, huge thing that just makes you say, ah, I feel so alone. And we don't, we don't want you to feel alone. We, we want you to have connections. We as people are designed to have those connections and relate to other people. And so if you just don't have those relationships or you're having a tough time uh, getting them, uh, maybe, maybe you need to go look for the relationship somewhere else. And maybe that is uh, within the wedding video community, or maybe it's um, getting involved in, I don't know, uh, at, at a church or a local uh, service community or, uh, you know, something that you're very passionate about. If you're passionate about gardening, go find a gardening community or, or something so that you can build relationships. And if this job that you are doing here is making it so that you can't have relationships, maybe that is a sign that it's time for you to walk away and look for something else. Moving on, uh, kind of the last point that I want to talk about here is, are you taking care of what you need to take care of? Simply put, are you? Um, are you, uh, you know, able to feed yourself and your family? Are you able to make rent? Are you uh, able to stay afloat with all the edits and all the things that you uh, need to do? Are you taking care of what you need to take care of. And uh, if you're not, then maybe that is something that you should really consider and looking at. I, looking back uh, in that ministry job that I was in and I decided I was on eggshells and I was walking away. After I had a few months and I saw the new guy come in, I realized that I probably wasn't taking care of uh of the the duties that I had at that church as well as I should have been. And um, I wish I would have really uh, examined that and learned that sooner. Um, You know, it's like, I, 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 you know, I was kind of half-assing the job a little bit, you know, Um, I wasn't, I wasn't doing, um, I wasn't, I I don't know, right now where I am, I say for the last few months, I probably wasn't doing a good job because of how I felt. And uh, I'm glad I walked away when I did because of that. And I didn't want to do a lot of damage. And so um, are you able to take care of the things that you are 
able to take care of? Um, you know, that's, I know that's a loaded question. That can be a heavy question. Um, but as I'm kind of wrapping up, you know, the, today's episode, I think that there, I wanted to give you space and give you permission. And I know that you have space and you have permission to do all of these things, right? You absolutely can do these things and you don't need my permission again, but sit with this. And so if you are really struggling in your business, if you are not finding enjoyment, if you're not able to really take care of all of the things that need to be taken care of, maybe this is a question that you should just sit with and ponder. And I'm not, and I'm not trying to push anyone out of this industry. I believe that the wedding industry is an incredible place. There are so many people that you can connect with and so many people that you can relate to and so much good can and does happen uh, within this industry. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's time for you to take a step back and maybe it's time to step away because you have been burned out. Or maybe it's time to, we're going to put pause on this and I'm not going to take as many weddings. And maybe you go find something else to do for a little while to help you until you are able to refresh and recenter and figure out something that you need. So uh, I, I know I, I know that this was a deep topic and I know this is uh, maybe something that uh, you, you didn't really want to hear, but maybe you needed to hear, or maybe you're not in this boat at all. And I totally understand we are a wide, there is a wide group of wedding videographers and they are all over the place. But I want to say this for you to take care of you, for you to take care of your family, for you to do what needs to be done in your life. There is absolutely no shame. If you walk away, you are not a failure. Okay, maybe you didn't succeed in how you wanted to, but taking care of what you need to take care of in your family and your life is way more important than saying, oh, I've been a business owner for X amount of years and blah, blah, blah. Okay, be realistic and, and think about what it is that you need to do and what you need to take care of. Okay, um, so maybe, maybe a little exercise that you can take is if this is if this episode has resonated with you, um, maybe take the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes and just kind of sit down, close your eyes and think through these things. Do you get enjoyment? How are your relationships? Are you able to take care of the things that you need to take care of? Um, you know, I, I don't know how to answer those questions, but I know that if you sit down and think about it, you will be able to answer them. So uh, I know this was a shorter uh, little episode here, but I just had a few thoughts that I wanted to share. Uh, you know, John is, has been has been out of town as well. He is just getting back um, from a wedding he had in Canada and family vacation and some, some stuff like that. And, um, you know, it was, it was a good time to just be a little introspective, especially as I've, uh, you know, I've, my cup has been filled this past week, both, uh, professionally and, um, on a human level. And I know that not everyone, uh, you know, is feeling that right now. And this was a thought that I, uh, had in talking with my wife a little bit, and I just wanted to, to share those thoughts with you before we sign off a few things. One, uh, check out our great sponsor music bed, um, howtofilmweddings.com slash music bed. Uh, you can actually get a 14 day free trial over there at howtofilmweddings.com slash music bed. Uh, you can download, I think, and use three songs in those 14 days and you can really experience the difference of uh, music bed. Bride and groom video and fantastic editing service. If you need an editor, head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash outsourcing and check out bride and groom video. Also, don't forget that survey. I mean, I'm just, I'm just rolling them out here. Don't forget that survey, howtofilmweddings.com slash survey. You could win a DJI Mini 4 Pro Fly more combo. Uh, just go to howtofilmweddings.com slash survey to fill that out. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in to this week's episode of the podcast. And if there's anything that um, I can help you with or anything that you need, send me a DM over at How to Film Weddings on Instagram. And I would love to uh, chat with you uh, if there's anything that I said that has really resonated with you and maybe has helped you or uh, pushed you or I, I, I don't know. If there's anything I can do, just send me a DM over there at How to Film Weddings. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, we will see you. Thank you.